Hello everybody and welcome to the Keanu Esports stream. My name is Shadi Zedihana, head coach of the Keanu Esports program. And we are about to get started with Canadian Nationals 2023. Keanu Husky is leading off against Simon Fraser University in Group D first stage. And this competition is a GSL style group. It's a bit of an interesting format if you're not familiar, but it's really fun. And it fits the event very, very well. I'm very excited that we... Um, have the opportunity to kind of experience this format together. So I'll try to walk you through what it is that we're about to get going into here in just a few minutes. The GSL style groups is essentially the inverse of a double elimination. So rather than being last man standing, if you lose twice, you, you're out. It's the first to two wins escapes. So what we're trying to accomplish here is with these groups of four, we're trying to find the first two teams to get two wins. So by the end of today, one team will be 2-0 and will progress into the playoff bracket to take place on Saturday. And we will also have two teams, one of which, which is 0-2, and two teams which are tied 1-1. One one. What that means is that basically when we get to 
Thursday, those one and one teams will face off and one of them will progress and the other one will be eliminated. So the hope is for the Huskies, obviously, to get out 2-0 today, if not to at least scrape by one win so that they can get to Thursday for a chance at that elimination match to qualify through the elimination. And the Huskies starting off against Simon Fraser University, a team that they've played multiple times throughout the year in a couple different events, starting things off in the Canadian Intercollegiate Exhibition, which was their first event of the year back in July, if I recall correctly. Following that event, nope, end of June. See, I, I knew I knew when I said it, I knew when I said it that I'd, I'd been mistaken. Uh, end of June last year, and then moving into, of course, uh, September with the beginning of the season in NECC, playing against Simon Fraser University, I believe all three of their teams, actually, uh, or at least two of them, made it into that champion's bracket. Um, so the Huskies now are going to have a chance at a rematch against SFU, a team that has always managed to get the best of them, but not always in a stomping degree. Like, it's been pretty close a couple of these games. Uh, and as the season has progressed and the Huskies have had more chances to train and practice, we've seen them get closer and closer games in rematches against teams that were previously doing very well. Uh, now those games are looking a lot tighter, and I'm really hoping we can see uh, a miracle push from the Huskies today. We're about to get going into our first lobby here as the players have selected on Yijang Tower for their control. It seems to be the most popular control map uh, with these teams. So we're going to see them on a comfortable map, a familiar map, uh, to kick things off. And the Huskies, of course, in the tank role, Magoo, followed by Clover and Nyx on the DPS line. And in support, Coda and Purity. So the same roster you've got to know and love all year are back to close things out with a bang for our fall semester playing against SFU Esports in round one. I'm very excited to see how these two teams perform. We're going to get going in a few minutes. But as we wait for the players to complete their map bands and get ready uh, to start uh, for the rest of the series, uh, we're going to cut to a very, very short break and go straight into the game from there. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Overwatch in just a few moments. Here we are with our warm up. The player is getting started. Initiating the match. It looks like we're going to get going here in just a few seconds. So we are on Yijang Tower in the control center to start things off. A fun little map with a lot of cool stuff. I like these little astronaut suits over here. Pretty dope. It's a good vibe. Comfy little office space. Wish my office looked like that. Horizon lunar quality. Nice little Easter egg. But of course, 
the main action the main reason for the event here today the huskies facing off against simon fraser university here on yijang control center let's give let's give some pride in the pack for our huskies as they're gonna start things off with a strong push here and a classic comp for the huskies with the yari sniper duo piano gonna make a very aggressive push for the point here as magoo already trying to take some solid space clover looking for an early pick and he's gonna have to fall back after that pressure Magoo will go down early in this fight and Nyx is gonna try to pump out some damage but isn't quite able to get it to stick and the Huskies will concede the point here getting chased back and SFU will start things off with a bit of a trickle but Magoo switching over to the Sigma I went through like six hero names in my head there before I got to Sigma. <laughs> On the Sigma, we'll be looking to push forward here and reclaim some space. The enemy attacks the barrier. Now this comp on the side of SFU, they actually committed to the Symmetra, so not just using it for the early teleporter, but actually sticking it all the way through. And Simon Fraser pushing right through office to find some early picks and keep the Huskies at the door here. Very heavy on alts, but Keanu does have window available for purity. And Clover finding that headshot will get himself the dragon as well. And they should be able to use this as an opportunity to break into the point as Magoo will begin to crawl ever so forward. That is going to be the ultimate committed by Blunder. And Magoo getting dropped very low here by Zephyr. SFU holding on pretty strongly here. And the Husky is just going to try to get themselves an opening pick. And break through. This is going to be their last fight opportunity, but they have a number of ultimates available. They just need to get to this point, and Simon Fraser is going to do everything they can to stop them. But a huge ult from Clover is going to buy the Huskies a ton of space. Zephyr will find one. The Huskies just need to touch. And Simon Fraser shuts them out of the gate. 100% to zero in favor of SFU. That opening fight for them really set the tone for the rest of the map. As they were able to get control and retain control on the Huskies despite their efforts to pull attention. Weren't able to get the best of that SFU defensive lineup. Every soldier needs a cause. If we do this right, they won't even know what happened. Now moving over to the market, the Huskies are going to pivot over to the Hammond. This is a Magoo Classic. As Clover actually going to be able to find an opening pick here on the Farah. He's been spotted out though and he's actually going to get uh, some uh, Symmetra sentry turret tossed at him there he's gonna try his best to find a pick here onto astrale and astrale will survive but nyx will clean up zephyr and the huskies here have been able to find the advantage early on in this one the dps line for sfu is gonna try to even out the numbers but clover's shots are sticking their targets right now and a little bit of an aerial battle here as the farah versus echo duel on the sidelines here clover nearly finding that flick but it will be the Huskies retaining control of the site and backing off to the sidelines to play into SFU here. Magoo just being a threat, being annoying on the sideline. He's going to dive in onto the support line. Nyx eating some pressure here, but 
Should be able to get the best as he takes the second headshot onto Zephyr and that two kill for him. Clover and Nyx in this 2v1 against Blunder off the point. But able to stick quite a bit of damage as Magoo will clean up Akasha on the site and attempt to shred through these Simon Fraser supports. That's a ton of damage coming out from this Hammond onto Astrale. Magoo gonna have to get himself out of that situation. But able to attract so much attention. Nyx now. Dumping some shots into Blunder, trying to get closer to that visor. And that visor, I think, is going to be a huge, Hello. huge turning point in some of these team fights. Koda now eating a ton of pressure from Akasha, who switched over to this Tracer. Definitely a better pick for the situation, and it's already rewarding them very, very well. Magoo going to get startled by that hero swap. Going to fall. And the Huskies finally lose control of the point at 75%. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. Sorry for the jump scare for those of you wearing headphones right now. And the ult from Clover, but it doesn't stick as Akasha immediately trading him out. I love the idea, but... Don't know if that was the play to make in this exact situation. Magoo going to try to get himself into a nice little cheeky off angle here. Saving that rope to defend against those Lucio boops. As the Kitsune rush gets committed by Koda. The beat drop in response, but Clover actually finding a double boop kill. Audra, Astrale, and Zephyr, and that's absolutely massive. The Husky is surely able to convert off of that 2k. And they are going to force out the Diva Bomb. The Zaps goes down, and actually the Husky is now finding themselves in a very favorable trickle search situation. They're not just able to find the kills, but they're able to totally stagger the respawns of SFU as well. And that's going to buy them another 20%. We're looking at last fight territory here for the Huskies. SFU, though, crucially... Able to build their percent up to 73 off the back of that that tracer swap. And they are actually going to swap again. Akasha now on Soldier. This guy's testing out the entire roster until he finds something he likes. Oh, Nick's trying, but the Helix Rockets from Akasha from downtown will shut him down. And the Huskies, despite being able to get themselves to 99%, I don't think they're going to be able to win it here. Clover, never mind. Finds two, has the ultimate available again, and as long as he survives this encounter... Might actually be able to make a difference, but gets dove on pretty heavily. He's going to try to just play without the ultimate. Some beautiful shots onto Astrale as he goes melee mode. Trying to find that position for that ultimate, but so far, Simon Fraser in a very awkward situation here. They're going to be able to get the pick on Superity though, and the trades are coming out. Clover needs to come in an ultimate, and it has to be game winning. And he will nearly get the second kill onto Akasha. And the Huskies are actually able to reclaim. And it's just Akasha, and he's so low. The Tracer swap though, Zephyr does touch. And Magoo going to try to force. And as soon as Akasha goes down, the Huskies should have it. Simon Fraser able to get back to the point, but they're so trickled right now. Keanu just needs to finish these kills. And the Huskies will take map 2. 100% to 99. What a round for Keanu. We've got some fans in the chat, as well as some equally dedicated haters. We love that. Shout out if you know who you are. Just makes the victory that much sweeter, as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for making Collegiate Esports everything that it is. Fun, engaging, and entertaining. But the real show, the real attraction, of course, what we all came to see, 
was the Huskies taking down Simon Frazier. And right now they're on track to do it. After that second round victory at score tied 1-1 one one on Yijang. And now moving to the Garden. Blunder committing to this Diva pick very early on. Not a hero we've seen a ton of over the course of the season. Obviously meta shift and change and adapt, but... Diva never usually a top priority tank. Clover able to stick some decent direct hits. He's already at 52%. Very, very close to have that ult having that ultimate online. Just a few more solid shots to go. And actually, Clover finding the boop kill onto Blunder. That's his third one this set. Some shots onto Zaps, unfortunately not sticking. Magoo will do his best to survive there. And after some nice healing from his team, he's going to push down this Tracer. The bomb is going to stick. He's going to get dropped low, but they're not going to have the resources to chase him down. And Nick going to try to fight on site here, but unfortunately not able to stick and finish those shots. He will be able to take down Zaps, though. And now he's going to look for a second one here. As he's taking pressure from all sides now. Needs that tank to come online. Clover does have the ultimate finally. But he's going to need to get himself out of dodge and regroup with the team. Simon Fraser on 50%. The Huskies need to make a firm hit here. They don't want to let that breach that 80% mark because anything past that is lethal on the take. Kiana now going to look to rotate them way too much the point, but Clover getting picked out. Dropped very low. The ultimate committed by Akasha. Will zone Clover, but Clover will survive for the time being. Drops himself to one, actually off some self-damage, but Clover's still alive, trying his best. Will get taken down, and now Huskies in last fight territory. Simon Fraser did have to commit a number of ultimates on that fight. And the Huskies will be able to touch as Magoo already positioned to do so. But they're going to need to make a strong attempt right now as Magoo is going to find his timing. Break onto the site that Diva Bomb trying to zone, but Magoo is still alive on the point. And the Huskies now just need to get there. Clover trying to hold this ultimate. He's going to get that direct hit. Nyx with the attack visor as well. Trying to clean up on these key DPS targets. As Blunder actually <laughs> going to SD in the remount. That's, uh, that's an interesting, interesting D.Va interaction. Keanu now needs to hold. And Clover actually... You know, I was judging his ultimate patience a little bit, but the benefit of this is that now for the second fight, when SFU is going to look to end here, Kiano will still have this Farah ult available. As long as Clover doesn't get picked off too early, he's going to have that for the rest of the fight. Good shots from Nyx to take down Akasha. Magoo, very low, but does get a, a nice health pack to keep himself up. The Huskies stalling this for now as Purity on site. And Clover does find two. Looks for a third, but gets outplayed by Astrale. And now Nyx trying to stick his shots at melee range. Soldier, unfortunately, not a melee character. And despite having three SFU members corralled in this hut, the Huskies are unable to get any picks off it. They will be able to retain control of the point, though. As Magoo, very deep in enemy lines, he's going to dash his way out and get himself to safety. And Nyx, you know, maybe can't find his kills on these supports, but he's always getting the best of his mirror. And that's, I mean, got my one, right? That's the comp. Nyx getting his two. He finds a second one. Coda not sticking these kunai. Getting dropped very low. 12%. He's trying to dodge that SFU aggression. The Huskies have to touch the point here. I don't know if they can do it. And Magoo sneaks onto the point just as it captures. Simon Fraser will take a close and scrappy map number one. Or game number one. As we move forward to the hybrid variant on game two. Clover. 
with a great effort here. For that double boop. I mean, that was a ton of fun to watch. Regardless of how the rest of the game played out, that was a very entertaining game and a great way to start things off here on Yijeng Tower. Now the Huskies obviously need to regroup. This is a best of five. They still have plenty of opportunities to turn this one around, and they will be moving over to the Escort hybrid variant, where you have a little bit more control over how you want to position yourself you know, playing off of that, that objective, you know, you can kind of time yourself on your fights. Gives you a little bit more agency in that attacking position versus control where you're kind of simultaneously swapping between attacking and defending. You have a very clear directive on the hybrid. And I think, I think in that environment, this Huskies team will hopefully be able to demonstrate that skill, demonstrate that improvement. I think they've already shown a great bit of that here in game number one against Simon Frazier. Not able to get the win, but pushing it to a pretty tight, Map three, and now going into their second map in game on hybrid. Looks like it's going to be Eichenwald getting locked in for map number two. We're going to cut to a very quick break before we jump into game number two. We'll be right back with Eichenwald for game two. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Keanu Esports stream. My name is Shadi Zeddy Hanna. I'll be hosting your Overwatch game tonight here. As the Huskies face off against Simon Fraser University. Simon Fraser, of course, taking game number one here against Kiano. Now on Eichenwald, the Huskies starting things off on the attack. And we'll see how they adapt to these circumstances here. What changes they make. Remember, if you want me to heal you, stand very still. But also, avoid the bullets. Uh, 
the Sigma and the double snipers. The Huskies are going to be looking to make an early pick. Transitioning down into some momentum here. Magoo trying to take some early space here for Kiano. We get them established on the point. And the Huskies. Looking to find a pick. Is Nyx actually going to slip off the Widow onto the Soldier? Well, we're going to get dropped very low here. And Blunder will find an opening pick onto Nyx as Clover gets taken down as well. Magoo going to get dropped. And so far, this hold by this May comp. From Simon Fraser just looks a little difficult for the Huskies to deal with. Is that it's going to be virtually a full team wipe, and the Huskies are going to have to regroup here. Let's take a look at these ultimates. Purity very close to that window, but Blunder and Astrale. Getting close to that flux in window as well on the side of SFU. The Huskies really are going to need to find themselves a good pick here. And Nyx will do just that as he guns down Astrale. No window in sight for SFU. And Nyx going to try to stick his shots onto Zaps. Zaps will get himself out of there. Well, we're going to try. But he's taking melee range fights. And I just don't know if those are the fights you want in this situation. Nyx will get the Helix Rocket kill. And the only saving grace here for the Huskies is that Eichenwald is very attacker sided on this point one. Simon Fraser will have a very long walk of shame back from spawn. And hopefully Kiana will recognize that and capitalize as the window does get committed. And they're going to force Blunder back into this high ground here. Blunder, of course, does have the flux available. The window getting shot out by Astrale. Clover gets caught in it. it should go down as well. And Keanu just needs to push through. Blunder, however... Doing a very good job of holding these points. Magoo will take down Zephyr, but all of the Huskies getting taken down here. With only a minute 30 remaining, the Huskies are really going to have to depend on these ultimates. Probably the most challenging ultimate to deal with here is going to be Zephyr with that May ult. We'll see what Magoo and Clover can cook up here, though. But look at this play from Nyx. He makes the read. He tries to get into the back line. And while he doesn't find the kill right away. Very nearly. Taking down Zephyr. Zephyr will get shot down. Coda. Gonna go for that blast. He only gets one though. We'll clean up Astrale though. Once that bomb detonates. And Magoo trying to do some Sigma wall dancing right now against Blunder. The Huskies should have this. And Kiana will progress to that second point. So, although not a convincing first point, they did good enough to get themselves to the next one. And off the back of this pick onto Blunder, I wonder how much space can they take? Nyx already has the visor up again. He's having a phenomenal game. You know, Nyx, one of those players at the beginning of the season, uh, struggled to maybe make a huge, huge impact the way that he was hoping to. But each game, just looking stronger and stronger. And now... Really coming into his own here. He's always finding impact. Whether it's a pick, a frag. We're generating some solid ultimate as Magoo is going to do a little geometry here with those Sigma attacks. He's going to force Simon Fraser down into Castle. And he's just going to run at Zaps. This is crazy, Magoo. You're out of your mind. But just knowing that pick trade-off, like, this is just one of those maps where the attackers have so much momentum off of any picks that you just force your opponents to take such a long walk back. Like, even this, getting zoned? They're going to get to the site, and SFU's still going to be setting up as long as they hit fast.
Bomer getting shot down by Akasha. Takes a 1v1 that he can't win. Bites off more than he can chew. And the Husky is just getting zoned off by this SFU roster. Just not able to find good fights as Nyx. Sorry, I'd never seen that. That was funny. Nyx rocket jumping himself over Sigma's head. It's like Leapfrog out on the out at recess, out on the playground. Over switching over to that iconic Genji. One of his best heroes all season. As Magoo is going to look to push this. And go for the Flux. Oh, but the Flux whiffs. Simon Fraser playing around it very well. It doesn't matter though. He's able to zone off Blunder so far from the rest of his team. And Clover. Just not able to find these kills. On this Genji pick yet. No dash available. Should fall here in a moment. Magoo on the Wrecking Ball just to try to force the touch. And he will be able to get to the point and actually attempt to back cap it a little bit. Spirit, you're going to try to keep Magoo alive on point as the ammo goes down. Koda with the Iyari. Trying to stick his shots. Vit Clover's so close to that ultimate. He actually popped it before he died, but he couldn't get it off. And Nyx will try to touch. So the Huskies will be able to get it about a point and a half way. But on Eichenwald, it's definitely a scary place to end your map. Now you would love to have seen this payload go just a little bit farther. But there is the possibility that the Huskies pull off the stall, the miracle stall. I can vault, you know, not necessarily an attacker sided map all the way through, but definitely seems to be one of those maps where once you get that first point, you can usually run it right up until about the end of the second one before you start to get a little stalled out. Third point being the hardest to take. Keanu obviously would have loved to at least get to that second point to make it more of a fair fight, but are going to be tasked with quite a tall task here. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? I'm running out of vocabulary. I'm reusing words halfway through the same sentence. Should have majored in English. Maybe I'd be better suited for the job. Looking over to this SFU comp. Doomfist with the Genji, Ana, and the Brigida to boot. <clears throat> a very interesting comp from SFU. And I think it has the potential to pay off for them here, but we'll see how the Huskies adapt to this strategy as Clover already eating an early nano. Blunder, very deep. Clover. Playing with fire here as he ducks to 4 HP and will get saved by Purity's MO. Clover getting taken down in this Genji 1v1 and the Huskies are going to be forced to concede Arches so early get off the bridge. Zephyr already on a very deep flank here fighting Nyx in the back line. They're already fighting on the second point. Now hold on, I think we're skipping a few steps. I like this movement from Nyx, but unfortunately that anti takes him down. SFU are looking to get this first point very early on in this one. Koda will pick off Blunder. And I wonder, can the Huskies touch and retake? They're gonna try. No wall available for Magoo. Does have the rock available though. That's gonna get shielded out. And he's just going to try to stall and burn as much time as possible as Nyx. We'll get back to the point. Able to stick some solid damage here. Oh, but the sleep dart connects. And Blunder will get taken down. And the Huskies now have to stall for five minutes on the front side of this point. And I 
Would love to have hope for this team, but I just don't know if they can do it. This is just not the map for that miracle. Not every day gives you a second chance. Coda does have the Ayari ultimate available, though. And the Husky is, in general, not too far out of reach in this ultimate war. <clears throat> we'll need to establish themselves here under bridge if they want to make this work. Their setup just looking a little bit rough right now. Zephyr, though, will get shut down on the ultimate by Purity. And the Flux... But doesn't commit to the kill on Brigida, and the Brigida ultimate goes down. Astrale taking huge advantage of that misplay from Magoo. Nyx will pop the visor, but spends most of his time running to reposition. And the Husky's in a bit of a scramble here. Nyx will force through that Brigida shield. And Clover just trying to dance as Tracer, but Huskies can't touch. SFU will take a convincing Eichenwald. Keanu, already now forced into a reverse sweep situation. Have to win the next three. We'll give Blunder a shout out here for this nice little play of the game. It's a great flux into a melee kill. And sticks the rock on Purity as he falls for his third. I mean, that's just class. Very well played by Blunder. As a reiteration for those of you just joining the stream now, the format for today is GSL style groups. So, the way it works, it's a reverse double elimination. Basically, the first team to get two wins moves on to the next round. Rather than two losses, you're out. Two wins, you move on. So because we have four teams in this group, one team will finish the day 2-0, one two will finish 1-1, one one, and a third will finish 0-2. Oh, now, what this means is that for those two 1-1 one one teams, they will return to play on Thursday for a chance to qualify in the elimination round. So the goal, of course, is 2-0 tonight. If unable to do so, the Huskies will look to at least win their second round match and play again on Thursday for their chance to qualify. The goal is to win as many as you can. <laughs> it's always the goal. I mean, it's not, it's not a revolutionary idea. It's not a revolutionary concept, but winning today would be fantastic. And if not this round, at least their next match at 8.30 for a chance to progress through the elimination round on Thursday. Looks like we're going to be moving into New Junk City for our third map and potentially final as SFU already up to zero. But for all my Huskies fans in the chat, we know we we're hoping for plenty more Overwatch in this first match here. I'm going to cut to a very short break while we wait for the teams to get ready to go. We'll be right back with New Junk City for the Flashpoint. In just a few minutes.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the Kano Esports stream. We're going to get started in just a moment here. As the teams get ready to face off on New Junk City. Keanu Huskies versus Simon Fraser University Esports. And we'll see what these comps look like as it is going to be pretty standard for the Huskies. The Junker Queen for Magoo. The Lucio Yokiriko, the Genji, and Nyx more than likely switching over to the Sombra after this Symmetra TP. And on the flip side, Simon Fraser with a similar comp, but this is going to be the Baptiste and the Sojourn. A good Canadian hero for a good Canadian event. I mean, look, I'm here for Keanu, but valid is valid whether it's your opponents or not. Now, the last time the Huskies were on New Junk City, or one of the last times, we had some goofy shenanigans involving a Reinhardt and a Maywall that made things really, really awkward. But with no Reinhardt or May in sight, that also means no more goofy shenanigans. With that said, Nyx is going to speedrun his death as he gets taken out very early on in this one. And the Husky is getting run down, picked off. Magoo will punish that misplay from Zephyr though. And despite SFU getting control of the point, they are down a member now for this fight. And we'll see how the Huskies attempt to capitalize as that immortality field getting forced out. The knife sticking. I was going to call the knife Jesse for a second. That's definitely not it. I'll hear it and then I'll remember it. What's the knife? Someone in chat remind me. What's Junker Queen's knife called? Whatever it's called, it's doing work. But only for Magoo, unfortunately, as currently the tank diff looks pretty pretty epic. And this stagger is also going to look epic as Magoo is going to run in with the knife. Oh, this is bugging me. What's the knife called? She names it and she calls it too, in-game. Oh, oh, it's all good. Not important. Not relevant. But lore, I mean... What Overwatch is really known for. Great stories, great lore. Best cinematics in the esports world. Change my mind. Tsune Rush getting committed by Purity here, and the Huskies are prepared to go to war as Magoo will commit his ultimate. That's actually the Huskies putting every single Q button on all of their keyboards at the same time, all at once. And you know what? It worked. It's Q button soup. And the Huskies will slurp it up to round out. The first point here. I don't know what I'm saying. Flashpoint one going to Kieno. 94, 95, 1, 2, 3. Boom, there it is. 1 0 for the Huskies on the Flashpoint. As the Huskies progress to the second point, they're going to look to capture in 15 seconds. <coughs> the blade available, Nyx, <coughs> very close to that EMP as well. It's going to be a relatively even fight here as the Huskies will attempt to pick up some of these kills here. And there's going to be Clover on the Dragon Blade. The beat dro gets dropped in response and Clover won't be able to find this meaningful escape. And a fight that should have been close in theory ends up being a total rundown for SFU. They didn't like that Keanu team killed them and they said we're going to do it. It's our turn. Keanu looking to retake here. As SFU, an early lead on the second point. But the Huskies still plenty of time and opportunity to take. 
as the EMP gets committed by Nyx. That's massive. And the Huskies just need to stick their shots as Clover throwing out a bunch of shurikens, but not just, just not sticking. And Zephyr's going to come in and do some damage. He will find his second. He's going to look for a third. He gets it on Dakota. And that's what happens when you play rock, paper, scissors, and you don't have a Lucio ult. That Genji, Genji scissors win every time. Keanu going to have to decide whether they want to contest this point or not. And they won't do it, but they will get the trickle onto Blunder, so... Tit for tat, I suppose. If you can call it that. Brody redeeming so many... So many channel points right now. I don't know if I can keep up with all of this, Brody. Alright, we're gonna do some multitasking here. Can I cast... Stream... Observe... And start a Twitch poll all at the same time. I'm a man of my word. Junker Queen ult gets committed. Clover comes up big with a 2k. Gets taken down by Zaps. But the Huskies should have this? Question mark? Belief? Hope? Prage? And I said, I said it, and it will be done. Keanu will take the third point. Will Keanu win map three? Responses, yes, definitely. 100%, without a doubt. Absolutely. We're going to get that started right now. <clears throat> Keanu, please don't let me down. I just put all my eggs in that basket for that pull. SFU will retake, but the Husky is able to build up to 72%. Definitely respectable. It's not last fight territory, but it's a good job well done. And it should give the Huskies enough time here to regroup, recapture, and hopefully reclaim here. And while SFU, they've tended to get the best of us, and they've been getting the best of us this series, these games are definitely looking a lot more close, a lot more evened out than they once did. That's what it's all about here. Improvement day by day. Somebody said in chat, Gracie, thank you. I knew it. See, I knew Jesse, Gracie. Like, I wasn't that far off. I wasn't that far. Clover. Uh, his knives are going through Lucio's, and he's not finding kills, and then he's dying. Okay, bad game. I swear, they should have never made Overwatch free to play. Maybe if it still cost $80 to play... You wouldn't have Genji Knives going through support heroes. But I don't know. Call of Duty is not doing great for that argument. It's not a great uh, example of the pay-to-play -play model. Call of Duty is like paying $90 for a free-to-play game. Overwatch, on the other hand, is about crazy, wacky, goofy stuff. The entire time, such as Nyx running entirely behind the enemy team, nuking the supports 1v1, then getting 1v1'd in return, going invisible again, and then looking for the EMP flank. That's Overwatch. Flashpoint is unlocked, and the Huskies attempting to fight, but Piano able to find a few picks, but nothing, nothing game winning or significant here. Magoo hits a nasty flick onto Zephyr that just doesn't convert into a kill. So far, Nyx getting chased down here. Trying to win out on this Lucio duel. But Zaps will get the melee kill, and I mean, that's just Lucio gaming. Huskies need to really think about how they want this fight to go down. 
And that is going to be the Genji ultimate committed here by Zephyr. He'll find one on Zapirity, but that's all he's going to get. And at least the Huskies were able to mitigate last time it was a 3k. SFU looking to end things right here right now the Huskies need to get themselves onto the point and it needs to be strong now as the back cap comes through from Nyx on the Sombra and I'm looking for this ultimate from Magoo on the Junker Queen I'm looking to see how he converts and unfortunately that ultimate only sticks to one Nyx will find a kill for himself. And I believe he's the last on set, or one of the last on set is Koda doing some totem dancing there in the middle. And Clover is going to have to touch and have to stall. I don't know if he can do this for very long. He's going to deflect and try to buy time for Magoo, who's running in. Magoo gets shot down at the door. I don't think Nyx can make it. And Simon Fraser will take the third point, the third map, and the first match here in Canadian Nationals. GG, well played to SFU. They played a phenomenal game. We always love seeing the West Coast succeed, so we'll bow our heads and allow them to progress <laughs> on to the next round. Now, for those of you that were a fan of this matchup and are hoping to see some more, the way these GSL groups work, there is a chance for a Keanu vs. Simon Fraser rematch in the group stage. Now, the conditions have to be met, the following conditions. TMU, Tor Toronto Metropolitan University, the group top seed, must win 2-0 on the day. I don't know the results of their Fanshawe Fuel match yet. We can check the bracket for an update. But if they were successful in their game against Fanshawe Fuel, they will go on to play against Simon Fraser. If TMU beats Simon Fraser, SFU will move on to Thursday's elimination match, and TMU will automatically progress into playoffs on Saturday. Keanu then would play against Fanshawe Fuel and progress into the elimination match if they're successful against Simon Fraser. So there's still a chance at a West Coast rematch. The moral of the story being that as long as Keanu wins their next match here against the loser of TMU versus Fanshawe Fuel, I'm thinking TMU made it. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm thinking they made it. If Keanu goes on to play against Fanshawe Fuel and win, we will in fact have a possibility for a West Coast rematch on Thursday. So if you enjoyed this match, you want to see the Huskies try to get the best of SFU again in their next battle. Make sure to tune back into the stream on Thursday after the Huskies beat Fanshawe. I'm going to put my money on that one. I feel pretty good about that one. This one we knew was going to be tough. That next one, I'm putting my money right on Keanu. I'm betting all the way. No copium, just pure faith and pride in the pack. We are going to take a quick break here as we wait for our next match to resolve. Um, so we know when that next game starts. Uh, so we're going to go on an indefinite break, but we will post an update to both Twitter and Instagram before we go live with our next game. Thank you very much for tuning into this first one, and we'll be right back with some more Overwatch as soon as TMU versus Fanshawe resolves.
You know what time it is. Keanu College versus Fanshawe College. Huskies versus Fuel. I think. Fanshawe Falcons. It's just one of those it's one of those weird things where they've got like three mascots for the same school. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Keanu. Fighting against Fanshawe. Now, this is an important match. Because the winner of this will progress to the elimination round on Thursday. The loser is gone. This is the end of their Nationals run. So a lot at stake for these two teams here. We're about to get started with our game. And I'm speed running my tweet to remind people Keanu versus Fanshawe. Now underway here on Yi Jang Tower. The Huskies making an early aggressive start here into this Fanshawe comp. That is going to be Nyx finding a Helix rocket kill. Delphi getting taken down as well. The sleep comes through onto Magoo, but Clover should be able to stick these shots as. Blasting him back, and actually Coda finishing it up as Clover throws a couple shots into a rock, and a wall, and a door, and a bunch of other stuff that isn't Ana. Now the Huskies have advantage on the point, and they're going to look to retain that advantage as Fanshawe didn't like that last comp, and they're going to basically go for a full swap over and try something completely new here. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this new comp that they're running. It seems a little disorient disoriented. A lot of random stuff going on. Nyx will go down to Sork, though, as the dynamite sticks. And Fanshawe actually able to get control of the point here. The Huskies will need to defend this, but Clover has the ultimate available. The sleep comes through, though, from Ninjax. A good counter from a hip from him, but Magoo will get the bomb drop, and despite Fanshawe taking the point, I can't imagine they're gonna have it for much longer as already the health bar is on the side of Fanshawe so low. Nyx will get one. Backs up to heal. And Fanshawe actually able to get some decent percentage here. Nyx and Coda fighting here on site. Nice little kunai right click head tap from Coda. We'll clean up that kill and Fanshawe almost tied it up but the Huskies will retake and a number of ultimates available. That's one of the downsides of these hero swaps is yeah you get some advantage but you lose all your ultimate charge so it's like you can't just throw it out too too much. And I'm hoping for Fanshawe's sake that they stick with this comp and allow themselves to build up a little bit more alt charge. Is Nyx going to take on the whole team here in that right corridor? The Pharmacy of Purity and Clover. Doing their best to keep the fuel at bay. Clover firing off some shots. Nothing direct, but... Able to do some damage. Now I'm going to try to give Clover the boost that he needs to get to this ultimate here as the Huskies are pushing last fight territory. If they clean this up, they might have the game off this as well. And Clover is going to look for an opportunity to commit the ultimate, but actually overextends himself. Purity does have the res available. I just don't know if he can go for it. Nyx will pop his ultimate, find a two. He's going to try to avoid getting shoved off by Orisa here. And Fanshawe will be able to claim the site. As Coda gets rezzed. Now both healers available for the side of the piano. And a solo tank with no healers, I mean... That's just a tough situation for anyone. The instant rocket barrage from Clover will take out the fuel, and I think that will do it. As the Huskies seal the deal here, 100% to 56 on round one.
Tiana now moving back to control center. Now, last time they were on control center against SFU, things did not go their way. Hopefully, here against Fanshawe, we can see a different story unfold. As we're just going to watch Clover play some basketball for a minute here in the loadout lobby. Huskies on the Symmetra for pre-round. I imagine that's going to get swapped over to the Sojourn. And there it will be. Nyx picking up the Sojourn. So no sniper comp this time around. Clover's going to play the Genji. This is what he's comfortable on. It's what he's good at. It's what he hits clips on. It's what we farm montage content from. They have to rename, rename himself youtube.com the amount of vids he'd be putting out with this genji gameplay that was a terrible don't quote that please don't clip that that was horrible for me i was embarrassed as soon as i said it <laughs> you know winning the fight very early on here after some good picks clover already at 60 percent i mean he is just farming these shuriken shots right now Next, gonna slide in and kill the mirror. I know Overwatch doesn't have the same lore story as Valorant, but I like to imagine to myself that, like, when the mirrors see each other, they just like enter like an existential crisis and panic. Piano really shutting the gates on the fuel right now. Just Fanshawe just not able to find a way in. Clover has the knives available. Gonna look for an opportunity to use it, but opts not to on this engagement. Waiting for that opportunity to strike. This Nyx will take his time and rely on his teammates to give him the space he needs. Get into that flank. He's actually going to go up high onto heaven here. And try to counteract that push. And Magoo, very close to this ultimate here. Clover. This doesn't need the ultimate. He's just going to save it. Banshaw hasn't given him a reason to use it yet. And this game looks a lot more dominant than the last. Clover now. Likely going to commit his blade here, if nothing else, just for show. Oh, but the headshot from Zork! Well, <laughs> I mean, they hit probably their nicest clip of the game about three seconds before the map finished. I mean, that's, uh, that's tough. That's tough. That was a fantastic shot from Zork there. And Clover, despite not being able to blade, will still pick up the play of the game. And I believe this is for the far ultimate. Yeah. Oh. Yep, there it is. You hit the flicky with the sticky and he cleans it up very nice and easy. Now the Huskies will look to continue this aggression. Keep this momentum going into the hybrid variant. And hope for a 3-0. They'll need that extra rest tonight. Call it call it in early. So they can get ready to go for training tomorrow. In preparation for Thursday's elimination game. And if the seeding is to be believed, it's going to be a rematch against Simon Fraser. If the seeding is true, if the seeding gods did their job correctly, that will be how this ends. <clears throat> That'll be a lot of fun. I think that Simon Fraser game proved that there is work to be done and there are improvements to be made, but also that there are tangible things that we can tackle and access. So this game here, the Huskies obviously will be cheering and hoping for a quick 3-0 to get ready for that elimination map. Banshaw will be on the map pick for the second game. We'll see. Maybe they've got some super special tricks lined up for the hybrid variant. So we'll allow them a few moments to come together to that decision. And we'll be right back for game number two after the break.
King's Row. A fantastic Overwatch 2 Blizzard Entertainment creation. Overwatch 1 creation, I should say. Some of the greatest work Blizzard Entertainment has ever put out into this earth. And we're going to see if this map is King's Row or King's Throw for the Huskies. As they currently hold a 1-0 league lead in the series. And I should flip the names because currently I'm lying to you. Give me one moment. I'm going to make an honest man out of me yet. There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? By the way, if anybody wants to come do some production for me, I mean, don't hesitate to shoot your shot. Seriously, my DMs are open all day. This, uh, is this a good time to advertise? We're having fun here on the Keanu stream tonight. It's been a long Tuesday. And hopefully not much longer, say the Huskies, as they're going to look to close this one out. 3-0, currently 1-0 on top of the Fanshawe Fuel. Keanu now dealing with this Bastion aggression to start things off. Clover going to play the Hanzo here. Nyx on the Ash. It's the safer Widowmaker variant. They've tried the Widow on defense. They didn't love it. Definitely more successful on the attack. Beardy actually going to get taken down very early here. But Magoo will shut that down. Throw a couple shots to no man's land. We'll try to stick the rock, but just gets micro-juked. And we're going to have to hit the aim labs, I fear, as these shots are just not sticking. And Derpy, Derpy, Derpy DD, that's it. I had to kind of figure out what those last few letters were. Derpy DD. Derpied. We'll get himself out of there scot-free. Side note, a little bit off topic, but we did actually talk about doing an AIM Labs leaderboard for the Huskies Esports program. If you're a Huskies fan, and you think that would be some fun content that you'd want to see, throw an AIM Labs in the chat. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, and Coda is going to sh shock a bomb here at Sork. And then just headshot him a hundred times anyways. It doesn't matter. That sleep dart from Pure D goes downtown. Doesn't stick. And Magoo is just going to take matters into his own hands as he tries to get a few picks. But the Huskies are kind of just throwing abilities at the door right now. They're, they're checking some buttons. They're... Oh my goodness, Nyx. That was a massive dynamite. And now Bob's just going to come through and absolutely wreck the fuel here. They're going to have to turn all their attention to him. And while they're doing that, the Huskies should be able to just walk up and kill them all. Clover going to start things off with a pick onto Sorked. And this Bastion stuck in the corner will not be long for this world. This Ninjax. I refuse to call him Ninja. We'll get taken down. And the trickle comes through onto the fuel. As they're going to get staggered out once more. Keanu. Just having fun with it. <coughs> Clover has this ultimate available. But Dean he needs to be careful. Of this Fanshawe Fuel lineup is they're close to four ultimates and they're actually going to push for this high ground here. And that's the Alpha Hanzo ult I was looking for. I was going to call it out but I didn't trust myself and I should have. As Clover zoning off the entire Fuel lineup. Koda actually finds the shot onto Delphi with the ultimate. That'll clean him up. And that's going to be Magoo holding his ult for the counter. As he's actually going to walk all the way behind Clover. We'll find one. Magoo. Barrel stuffing sort. With the gravity orbs. I don't even know what those things are called. They look cool. That's all that matters. And with this flux available, I believe this will be the end of Fanshawe Fuel. As 
Magoo just needs one good Q button tap and the game should be done. They're just waiting for that Winston jump. And Winston will drop and Fanshawe not even able to touch 0% claimed for Keanu. And the best Fanshawe can hope to do here, do here is draw. Vectus OW, surely you can read the overlay. <laughs> surely Vectus, power ranking chair for Overwatch. We'll see the overlay neatly updated. Shout out to one of our local high school students actually for coming up with our new in-game overlays. And while this one, we're just gonna size it up a little bit nicer. I actually quite like it. It's cool. It's on brand. It's fun. It's flirty. Got a dope one for Valorant too. Working on some other cool stuff behind the scenes. It's been a good year for the Huskies. We've had some ups and downs, but we've had some pretty cool new developments this year. And I've been overall pretty pleased with how things are turning out. And I think the Huskies, especially the Overwatch team right now, are probably pretty pleased with how this game is playing out too. It's already a 0% shutdown on the defensive half. And moving into offense, Magoo on the Doomfist. What the heck? We haven't seen that all year. Brand new. <clears throat> and Coda on the Life Weaver. I I think they're just. I think they're just having some fun. It's Magoo already very deep. In enemy lines here. He's just gonna go for some poke and then lure all the way around and just wait for his team to get into a good position. As Fanshawe have essentially conceded the entire point. Magoo now withholding that, that pressure from Sorkt. As Nyx is gonna look for a shot. There's a headshot onto Sorkt. It's a good one, too. King's Row, not known for having forgiving defensive respawns. It's uh, not a character trait this map possesses. And I believe that will be GG, GG, Double G's victory for the Huskies. A pretty dominant victory, I'd say. Speed running King's Row. Clover actually getting the play of the game. Just a little bit of a slice and dice here to close things out. <clears throat> the Huskies currently leading 2 0 in the series. We're going to be moving over to the Flashpoint next. Always a fun variant. A lot of action, a lot of different map types. We'll hope to see how that one finishes up. Hope for a 3-0 for the Huskies. I know I definitely need it because I'm getting very tired. And <laughs> my words are starting to fall into each other. But it's been a great day of games so far. And Keanu versus SFU. I mean, that was a tough one, but a tight one. I'm going into their next match on Thursday. Assuming this one ends in the 3-0, the Huskies will look to play against the loser of TMU or Simon Frazier for their chance to qualify. So a lot at stake here for the Huskies. They definitely want to make playoffs. It'd be a big, huge win for the program and this team. So best of luck to the guys as they look to round this match out tonight and look forward to Thursday. One more game here. Potentially one more game, I should say, in the series before this one wraps up. We're going to cut to a quick break before we jump back with map number three on the Flashpoint. We'll be right back in just a few minutes.
Welcome back, Huskies fans and friends and Overwatch lovers everywhere. Keanu College versus Fanshawe College. We are off to Suravasa. I was not expecting this map pick, to be honest, from the Fanshawe Fuel. This is a very unique map pick. It's the least popular on Flashpoint that we've seen, at least in the collegiate scene. A lot of teams definitely prioritizing that new Junk City pickup. We're going to be moving over to Suravasa. Definitely a more fun map. I think. I like the colors. It's bright. It's happy. We're doing some therapy in the Overwatch chat, it looks like. Had a... It's been, it's been an interesting little mid-map break. I like when college, college Overwatch players can come together and do some much-needed mental health support for each other. Speaking of support, I want to give some credit to our support line from the Huskies here because they've they're always putting in work and very rarely getting too much of the limelight. So maybe we'll just watch Kodos POV on Lucio for the entirety of this game. I mean, so far it's been pretty entertaining as he finds a mid-air boot kill onto Ninja. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. But yeah, the supports the unsung heroes of Overwatch. The most hated, least appreciated, but definitely some of the most useful. And the Ramatra pick from the door. I remember when this character first got released, I honestly thought it had no weaknesses. It was just the most broken thing ever. And I don't know if it's just been a series of nerfs or what it's been, but I feel like nobody picks him anymore. It makes me sad. It's kind of cool. Keanu already building up to 50% here. Holding Fanshawe off the flashpoint in its entirety. And Magoo gonna chuck out Gracie. I remember the knife name now. Gracie. We try to do some damage with Gracie in these fights as the entire team is just going to sprint at Derpied and take him down. The bomb from Sorks gets nothing and goes nowhere, and Fanshawe. Don't even touch the first points, and if this is any indication of what the rest of this match is going to look like, I fear it might be an early bedtime for the fuel. Fanshawe, of course, playing on the East Coast. They're a little later out there. 10.30 p.m. in Ontario right now in London, Ontario. 8.30 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. Here in Fort McMurray, Alberta. One of the cooler parts of Nationals is being able to have these cross-country competitions and connect with new players from all over the country. We definitely appreciate the opportunity for this event and aim to make you proud here as the Huskies will look to take down Fanshawe 3-0 in this match and progress to their elimination. And speaking of elimination, the Elims are coming out hot and heavy for the Huskies. As they're wiping out the fuel one by one. Nick's on a hot streak. Hot and ready like Little Caesars. That's a quick and easy team wipe for the Huskies. And they'll claim that second point with confidence. Clover are going to find a random deflect kill onto Derpy DD. I wonder if that was like... I didn't see it. But I'm just going to assume that it was like a Zenyatta right click that went fully into the head for the one shot. Because that's cool. Clover, speaking of cool, going to whip out the blade. Try to find some picks and... Yeah, I won't lie, that wasn't very cool. He didn't kill anybody. But he will get the right-click kill onto the door once the fight ends. The chase down onto Derpy. He's gonna get taken down as well. And back to our regularly scheduled programming of support view only, Coda. Jumping and skipping and hopping and booling around the map. Trying to scout out some info. The Huskies, they're about to get back capped here. But they will jump back to the point. And actually, Sork going to find the bomb kill. Ninja getting a second kill on Dakota. And this might be the opportunity that Fanshawe needed. As no healers remain for the Huskies. But unfortunately, 
Nothing available for Fanshaw either. And despite that very early double pick for Fanshaw, Keanu will take down their opponents and progress to the third point. So far, refusing to give up a single percentage on either of these two flashpoints. Husky's already finding some picks here before the flashpoint spawns. They're just sprinting at their opponents. Trying to get some of these kills. And I think that's been, what's that, four picks before this point spawned? Keanu trying to build to these ultimates so far. Quite a bit to worry about here as both the door and ninjas have their ultimates available. Purity going to look to get to that Sue's spirit rush here. And that's actually going to be the Zenyatta ultimate getting committed by Derpy. Nyx firing off that SMG from 100,000 miles away, and Kiana will fall here. Nyx 1v5? Do we see it? Defy all odds? No highlight reel play for Nyx, at least not on this one yet. We'll wait to see how that EMP plays out. <coughs> As the Huskies will finally relent some of their control over to Fanshawe. The hack comes through. And an instant kill onto Nyx coming back out from Fanshawe's sword. Doing very well for himself. And Fanshawe just activated here on this third point. They woke up. They started gaming. Some gaming gamers doing some gaming as they're going to try to trickle out the Huskies. But I fear they might be overextending themselves just a little bit. As this Clover, Clover ultimate is going to go crazy with the EMP. Tries to find a second one, but the Suzu holds it down. We'll get a third. And that will be the team wipe coming through for the Huskies. And the team kill will give them control. Fanshawe able to build up to 85%, but I believe Kiana will hold this and hold on tight. As Fanshawe is going to look to retake here with this Echo Ultimate and Spirit Rush available. Derpied switching over to the Mercy here. So he will get that retained 25% ultimate, but loses the rest of what he's been able to build on Zenyatta here. And as the Spirit Rush gets committed by Fanshawe, Huskies are going to look to reposition themselves. Koda going to take him down very low. He's going to try to get himself to a health pack if he can. The Huskies on 100% here, or close to 100% here. But Fanshawe just seemed to have found something in this point. They're holding on for dear life, and the Huskies able to get their kills. Next, trying to wrap it up. He's going to short hop out of there. And the Echo ult completing. Security trying his darndest to keep his team alive, but Fanshawe might actually get the best at this point. As Nyx is left alone, and I think he's just going to give them the point. And wait for that last second to dive on. But he's going to get taken out quite quickly there. As Magoo will try to get out to the point and hold it, but I don't know how long he can last. Koda gonna need to get in there with Clover if they're gonna attempt to fight this and they're actually gonna give this point away Fanshawe getting their point they're on the board here they just don't want to let me sleep man they just they want they, they're keeping me up all night ah oh, boy I'm an old man I need 11 hours of sleep how am I going to get to work in the morning if I go to bed at 9? Oh, Ninja! That's an interesting start. Finds the blade, but doesn't get a kill. Clover will find one, tries to find the second one. Might have to commit the blade here, actually. Oh, chooses not to. And Fanshawe yet again coming out on top. What is happening? 
The Huskies are asleep. Asleep at the keyboard. This game, it was 100% to zero the last two flash points, and we just lost the third one. And now Fanchal's on the fourth. Okay, and I'm gonna run up this high ground here. Try to regroup and regain. And finally, Keanu. Looking decent here. Because they're going to clean up these remaining members of the fuel. And get themselves onto the point before this game starts to run away from them. 73% in favor of Fanshawe. Keanu. Need to start building some of these ultimates. If they want to retain this pressure. They want to retain this hold. Nyx gets a massive EMP, sticks some shots, tries to take down Sork's Echo. And the tracking is pretty decent. Is Nyx very close to taking out a second one? Sork on this Echo is just doing wonders right now. I don't know what's happening, but this guy is getting so many kills. Making these fights look so unwinnable. Coda just playing for info. Clover onto the tracer now from the Genji. <coughs> the Huskies are gonna try to win it here. They don't want to let this go to point five because you never know what happens on point five. Kiana trying to get these shots down onto this Echo. But Nick's just not able to pump out the damage that he needs to. And Fanshawe will get the second point. I'm honestly shocked. I, I well done Fanshawe. That's two points for you guys. I was expecting this to be a quick 3-0, but here we go. Point five on the flashpoint. Huskies need to wake up here if they want to close this one out. Overwatch is a game of momentum and you don't want to let that momentum build. There's the ultimate from Ninja. Gets immediately responded to by Magoo with an ultimate of his own. Ninja gets shut down. Magoo in the back line here. Trying to disturb these fight lines. And they're gonna clean up the door and get control of the points. And now, surely Keanu with the stronghold at the beginning and some good ultimate advantage can hopefully hold on to this for the duration of the round. Shown that they're able to do that in the first and second points. It honestly might be just discomfort with some of these Siravasa points, I'm wondering. Fanshawe trying to force their way in. The beat drop from Coda will put an end to that. As one by one, the Fanshawe fuel will fall. The Magoo is just running on a rampage through the fuel right now. He said, screw this guys, I'm going to bed. I wanna go, I wanna wrap this one up nice and easy. And it's looking like the Huskies might be able to get there 100%. And they will do it after a scary round four, three and four. The Huskies turn their monitors back on and wake up to close out the map. And the play of the game goes to Sorked on the Echo. And honestly, fair enough, man. This guy had a crazy finish to this match. I mean, he went from... 
not having a ton of impact on some of those other characters on other maps to just running through the Huskies on the Echo. Fanshawe, congratulations on your participation in Nationals and a, a great showing as a team. We're sorry to end your run there. We wish you guys the best of luck in next year's competition. We hope to see you back even stronger than before. But the Huskies will take their victory today and move forward to Thursday for that elimination match. We'll know who our opponent is upon the, the conclusion of today's winner's finals. SFU versus TMU, the loser of which we will play on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. right here on the Keanu Esports stream. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today to the stream. My name is Shadi Hanna, head coach of the Keanu Esports program, and it's been an absolute pleasure to bring this match to you all and host and share these games with you guys. I hope you had fun watching and supporting the Huskies. We look forward to seeing you back here on stream Thursday night at 6.30. Tomorrow we will play our, our season opener or our tournament opener, I should say, for Canadian Nationals Call of Duty. Uh, and I believe we also play Fanshawe. I will confirm that for you and put out an announcement on Twitter tomorrow. But our bracket will go out for that tomorrow as the Huskies will be playing in Canadian Nationals tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. on the Keanu Esports channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great night. And we'll see you back on the stream later this week.